In the next few videos, we're going to go through the setting up and publishing of a magazine app to Apple's newsstand. In this video, we're going to look at the features of the magazine store app template and how we can add interactive features to our PDF document such as social media, maps, touch to call or even embed videos. So when you log into the Buzz Apps app builder, you'll find the magazine app template on about page 6 of the list of application templates. So click on select and click on use template and we'll just call this one test because that's what all it's going to be. Create and we'll configure this all later. Click on done. Now let's click on edit pages. As you can see we've got tab 1 which has the current issue of the magazine listed with price and buy now and past issues of the magazine will also be listed here with their buy now buttons and tab buttons for the four tabs below daily news which is a RSS feed about us and more where you can put additional links so let's check out tab 2 as you can see this is an RSS feed page type tab 3 this is a standard HTML page type where you can put information about the magazine. Tab 4. On page 4 is where we would put our external links, maybe to Facebook, Twitter, a main website, contact us, etc. Now tab 1 is hard coded to work with Apple's magazine stand. We can edit the magazine title, the cover image, the description, we can set the publishing date, the product identifier, and the page that will open. However, for our testing purposes, we won't be using this page, as this page will only function properly once the magazine is published to Apple. Instead for testing, we're going to add links to tab 4. We're going to add a link to magazine 1. And that's going to link to magazine1.html. We'll click on save. Now let's go back to magazine1.html and we'll add some content to it. Currently it's a PDF reader page. Now the PDF reader page type is a simple PDF reader that works well We'll forward links from the PDF to an external web page, but it lacks a thumbnail index. So let's see what other page types we've got to choose from. Click on Convert and type in PDF. And as you can see here, we've got PDF Editor, PDF Reader, that's what we're using right now, and PDF Tron. PDF Tron is a more advanced PDF reader, also works well. We'll forward links from the PDF to an external web page includes an automatically generated thumbnail index of the PDF as well as a word search function. And in many situations this is all you need when publishing a PDF in a mobile application. However, if you want to get more advanced and include features such as social media, maps, touch to call or embed videos, even YouTube videos, into your magazine content, then you need to use the PDF editor page type. And that is what we're going to choose for this demonstration. Click on convert now we're going to upload a PDF, upload files, for this example I'll just upload iCache Secrets Revealed. Once it's finished uploading just click on choose, now click on generate preview. Now we can use the toolbox on the right to create interactive areas on our document. Is a selection tool, a button, or an image. To use a selection, just highlight an area of the page and that will become an interactive area on our page. Next, click on the gear icon and we can put in our text and then we can also change the background color or we could leave it transparent. The border width 
border color and the action. Okay, in this case, let's make it go to a page in our PDF. I'll have it jump to page two. We can also drag this box around, resize it, put it where we need it. Now we can do something similar with a button. Just click on button, drag it to where you want it, size it, click on the gear icon, put in your text, and the action. In this case, we're going to go to a page in an application. So let's go to the About Us page, which was tab 3. Click on Save, and that's done. Now, as an example of using an image, why don't we have it linked to a video? And for that, I've taken a frame from an older video and opened it up in GIMP. And to this, I'm going to add a Play button image. I'm going to drop it into the layers just above that image. I'm just going to resize that play button, scale layer, and make it half that size, or quarter that size really. Okay, now we can export that. Now let's add the image to our page, and we'll drop it here. Click on the gear icon, image, upload the image. Upload files, magazine store test, a play button, and select choose. Okay, and the action, for the action we're going to play a YouTube video. So select YouTube, now we need the video ID. We just go to the YouTube video, copy this whole short code, drop the short code in, take off the beginning and we just keep this part of it, the video ID. Save that, and we can resize this image as we like it in our page. Now if you hold down the shift button, it'll maintain proportions. If you don't hold the shift button, you can stretch and change proportions. Okay, so I'll hold down the shift button, proportions are locked. Okay, so there's our play button, and we'll click save on that. Now, of course, we can add links to other pages. Just scroll down. Let's say we're going to add a link to page 4. We've got a picture of a map here. Why don't we make this a link to our map? Click on the gear icon. We're going to add a map. We're going to give it a latitude and longitude, other than an address. I'm not sure where that is, but it'll be somewhere in the world. Okay, and call it Find Us. And click on Save. Now on the iPad, when they open up this document, if they were to touch on this area here, they'll be taken to that location on the map. Now the next feature to discuss is the table of contents. Now just like the toolbox links, with the table of contents you can link to anywhere within the PDF document, anywhere within the application, or anywhere on the internet including videos, maps, anything you like practically. But let's keep it simple and just link to a few pages within the PDF. So the first page we'll link to is the front page. To do that, I'm going to save an image from there, page one. And to keep things tidy, because we're going to have more than one magazine, we'll call this magazine one dash page one, or image name. I'll put that in the folder called images. And I'm going to take the first part of this, I'm going to put it to the clipboard using control C, control C. Now I'll save that. Let's also add page 3 to our contents. Save image. Just put the cursor there. Control V to paste. We have a nicely named file. And what else? Let's do another one. Right click, save image as. Cursor there, Control V. So now we've got three images which we've saved from the index. Click on table of contents. And you'll see at the bottom of the page is Add. So we're going to add the first one. So let's upload our image. Upload files, upload files. We'll select all three to get them into the resource area. Now the first one I'm going to select is Magazine 1, Page 1. Select Choose. 
I'm going to title it Secrets and then call it the subtitle. I'm going to give it a cover, the action. We're going to go to a page of the PDF and we're going to jump to page one. So let's add another one. Click on add. And we're going to go to page four. Choose. Let's call it Gold Rush. We'll leave off a subtitle. Direct it to PDF page. Jump to page four. And the last one, click on add. Page eight. Choose. Call it loyalty cards. And the action is going to go to PDF page number eight. Click on save. And now let's try out a magazine store test app on an iPad. Let's go to a new magazine store app on the iPad. You go to the more tab where we've put magazine one. We've got the call to action here. Click me. Go into the about us page. This one going to page two. And we've got the video. We can play that. You can play as an overlay, or we can play in full screen. Click on done, we'll close that off. Okay, now if we tap here, we've got the table of contents. Let's go to the loyalty card. And back, other table of contents, Gold Rush. And now we can tap on here, it'll take us to a map. And that location turns out to be Detroit. And of course we can use the back button to go back to the PDF and carry on reading. So that is the magazine app. In the next video, we'll go through the process of publishing a finished magazine to the newsstand in Apple's App Store. Thank you.